I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at the different attachments for the Dyson V7 Trigger Vacuum. And I've shown in other videos I love the V7 Trigger because it's a really powerful handheld vacuum from Dyson that you can get for a lot less than the top-of-the-line current models. It goes for about $200, and it comes with three different attachments that you can use for different kinds of cleaning tasks. Um, so these are the three attachments down here. Um, the first one I'll take a look at is just the standard uh, kind of extended cleaning uh, nozzle here. Um, and this is for, you know, getting down into crevices and things. And it has holes on the side to make sure that even if you press this against a fabric surface, it doesn't kind of lock it off and lose suction. So any of these um, actually click into the end of the vacuum. They're very secure um, and easy to click in. So um, I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand necessarily. Actually I can. Um, just click that into there and then I'll show how this one works. So this attachment is ideal for getting down into crevices, you know, between couch cushions and that kind of thing. So See, it's really able to reach far in there, um, and you can get, you know, I use this for a car seat in the car, uh, for anything where you're trying to get in between small surfaces. This is the perfect attachment. And the next one I'll look at is this little um, brush attachment, and this is great for cleaning staircases. It's great for cleaning areas where you need a little bit more uh, reach than just this, where you're just uh, vacuuming a very small surface at a time, but you don't actually need the carpet. Uh, cleaning aspect of it. So the way that this works, um, you can press this button in and this part clicks out to extend and have the uh, br uh, bristles to help sort of raise stuff up off the ground. Um, and then this again just clicks in and then I'll show how this operates. So this one again is great for stairs. You can see the bristles kind of raise the dirt up out of the crevices here. Um, it's also good for going along the molding at the base of a wall. And I find it works great for small stain, uh, spills and things like that where you've got dust on the ground. You know, covering a somewhat larger surface than you would get with that first attachment. And you can also, you can also use this with the bristles uh, retracted and it has this little scraper. So if you have like a specific area on your carpet that you've mushed something into it or whatever, you can use that to kind of lift the, the dirt out in just this very small spot and get um, that uh, dirt picked up. And then the last attachment I'll look at is this carpet cleaning brush. Um, so this one actually, when you put it on, it uses the air pressure and the suction to cause this uh, cleaning brush to actually spin. And so that's obviously really great for carpeted surfaces. So to use this, I find it's best to align it so that it's totally upright. You can see this sits right against the surface. And then if you move it along, you can see that that brush is actually um, kind of scouring the carpet and getting up anything out of the pile. So you can even see the impact it makes on the carpet as it's uh, cleaning. This will obviously go away as you move things over the carpet but um, it's really getting that clean by kind of reaching deep into the fibers with that spinning brush. Um, so those are the different accessories for the Dyson V7 trigger um, and the different ways that I use them. If you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.